we are on our way to Zakynthos in the shuttle. The shuttle is taking us to the airplane that is going to take us to Zakynthos. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's no traffic and I like it because living in LA all you have to go through is traffic, um, fresh air. So this is the Olive Press Museum. This, this tank so well they keep all the olives? I don't know. Let's ask. Okay. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Hello. Hi. I'm Nikos. As you see here, it is different types of olive oil. From that side, it is with fruits, lemon, bitter orange, garlic, chili, local olives, olive paste, pure extra virgin olive oil from that side. We have also some cosmetics. Can I give you a small Oh, something? yeah, of course. I didn't go. Hold my phone. Uh, I will play this video again later with English subtitles. Okay, no problem. Please enjoy everything. In a couple of minutes, I'm going to be here for you. All right. Okay. You can try um, with the bread, different types of olive oil, and see which one you like. Okay. Here, I have to know. Oh, I don't want too much bread, though. <laughs> Record it? Hmm? Mm hmm So. Okay. Do they have names? This one is lemon. <laughs> How do you know? Oh, it okay. says it right there. It's, it so, is lemony. <laughs> lemon. It's lemony. <laughs> mm -hmm. This one is orange. Oh, your favorite. Oh, I love garlic. garlic. Mm, okay. And the lotion he just put, it smells really good. Okay, so this one's garlic. Garlic is my personal favorite. Let's see how it tastes. Mm, love the garlic. Try each one. Try the orange. Just taste the garlic. You want to try the orange? No. Oh, this is chili. I'll try some of that. How can olive be chili? I don't know. Maybe they mix some chili. I like it. Mm, that's a little spicy. All the products they have. Yeah. Let me just. And then what is this? Premium with one. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. This is just extra. I'd like to try. Just, just look at all these products made of all olive. This is where the magic happens. This big tank is. I think they're full of olive. These machines. Till it is new product. Taste it at the end. Local olives and mature olives, 
There are lots of olives. How much Ozzy is this? This is our storage. Uh, until oh, the end of October, maybe we do not have nothing. We are going to empty them. This one it has. As you see the wire outside, you can see how. Oh yeah, the level. Oh, the level. So you can see how much olive oil it has. Are you going to show us how you make the olive oil? Okay. Are these the same ones? Oh, they have more hair. Eh? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I think it's the same. Yeah, it's the, the same type. The chili. Oh, what is this? This is... <laughs> have another garlic because I like it. Oh, and then um, all right, and there you have it. The Olive Oil Museum. Um, in a short while, he will do a presentation about how olive oil is made. We are on our way to the Plakaki viewpoint. It is a scenic drive. And after that, we're going to go to another viewpoint. That's called Maizitiris viewpoint. centers so now you start seeing the view and the ocean in the backdrop and we are not even at the viewpoint it looks, it looks so beautiful on our way to that viewpoint we actually stopped by this tree and there is a sitting place here view from here is mesmerizing and so peaceful Here we are, we made it to the Plakaki viewpoint. Just look at the view from here. It's breathtaking. Oh, that looks really nice. Look at the blueness of the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are on our way to the second viewpoint and the road is horrible. Really, really bad. 
Um, this this road is actually not for this tiny car. It's it's for of jeeps. Four wheel drive. Um, We're actually kind of scared. Car. I don't know, man. We might end up paying the rental uh, place. Uh, God, this is the worst decision um, that I have well, made. Well, the GPS took us to this route. Um, so, I didn't know. <laughs> Don't trust the GPS. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just you can just see the, the road. road. I already have uh, some kind of sign on the dashboard. Um, no, I, I, I see this sign. This is the Mysithras viewpoint. It is really beautiful. But we have to be very this, careful. This cliff is as scary as the road yeah the road here yeah. was extremely dangerous for a rental car but show, oh my god wow them be careful just, be careful i'm going to show you wow. how it looks just look if you are um thrill seeker you can come all the way up here with a parachute and just jump damn the world is actually round This is the dolphin boat rentals. This is extremely close to the beach. One of the other reasons why I wanted to rent from here. We just parked over here and now we're about to go on a boat. Now we rented the boat and we're off. Yup, so I'm Jack the Sparrow now. We rented the boat. We are off to uh, Kerry Kepa Islands. Kerry Cave, and um, I forgot the name of that island, um, but it's called the Turtle Island. Apparently, it's shaped like a turtle. Um, you can see the head and then the shell. So we are going to turn around, go rescue her hat. Yes, we were able to get <laughs> her hat. Yeah. Yay. Okay, we're going to start again. Woo. We're going to do full speed ahead. Full speed. I, I got this. Let's go. Thank you. 
You can see the blue. just park the boat and uh, we're gonna explore a little bit there's supposed to be turtles here but this is not the season so I don't think we're gonna find any so we'll just go for a walk so this is one of the shops that we just came in and they have these cute little bottles of olive oil and I just bought some they look like this and they're pretty cheap very cute they have like a rose and some rosemary inside
has a bridge so you can walk across it. We just passed by it on our boat trip. So now we're here back by car. Wow. Here you can actually get more boat rentals and other group tours as well. But right now we're just here to go into the Camillo Island. And this is the bridge. It's very cute. And we're going to watch the sunset from there. So the entrance to Camillo Island is 5 euros per person and that does include a photograph. It's a really beautiful island. It's actually beautiful. It is worth the visit. You can also swim in this area. It's very cute. Very clear waters. Hey guys, so we actually heard about this restaurant from someone else, so we thought about giving it a try. It's actually in a hidden place. Uh, the name of the restaurant is Slow Bowl Taverna. So let's see if it stands up to the expectation. It has an Italian vibe. This is a Greek vibe. And my wife definitely likes vines. Hi. Um, let's see. Right there. Here. Here. I like the vibe. Take some pictures. So this is the menu at the place that we came to. We ordered the shrimp saganaki, the fried whole small fish and the egg saganaki. So let's see how that comes out. And then I believe this came complimentary along with the bread over there. And like all Greek restaurants, you have olive oil. Mm -hmm. Abandoned. Like it's plenty. <laughs> it's a really beautiful place. There's a really beautiful garden. Really nice for pictures. is really nice and there's little cats all over so.
Okay, so here is the small, um, whole small fried fish with potatoes. Here is the uh, shrimp saganaki. So it has three big shrimps and a um, couple of small shrimps with rice. And they have some kind of sauce. I don't know what kind of sauce that is. Um, here's the egg saganaki, which looks promising. Um, with some kind of sauce. Okay. So, we are done eating. The food was actually really good. And it was filling. It was just for $32 for both of us. So we are uh, at our hotel. It's Hotel Strada Marina. It's right next to the marina, as you can see. Uh, and it's right in the city center. So let's let's take a look in. So we're about to go in. I guess right here. Alright. Standard hotel. This one does have a city view.